Good morning everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Just thought I'd make a video about what happened to me in hospital when I was sectioned in a psychiatric unit for seven months. Basically, my GP, i.e. my doctor in hospital, he took me off of diazepam. Well, when I was on 30 milligrams a day, I was taking six yellows a day, and he took me off this in two days flat. He also took me off of 7.5 milligrams Lopiclone, which I had been on since 2004, pretty much taking a tablet every night before sleep. And also I was taken off of 800 milligrams of pregabalin, which was, it was very difficult to deal with. And coming off of these three, in my opinion, Two of them are definitely visually addictive and pregabalin, I think, in my own opinion, it is visually addictive due to how severe the withdrawal symptoms can be and were from like me coming off of it pretty much cold turkey. I know it wasn't exactly cold turkey, but two days to come off three physically addictive drugs that I had been on pretty much since every day since 2004, other than the pregabalin, which started in about 2012. But yeah, that's still, that was still eight years that I was on pre-gabalin every day. And 800 milligrams is 200 milligrams higher than the highest UK dose that you're meant to be prescribed from a doctor due to how bad my anxiety is and how bad and severe it used to be, particularly. And, well, I didn't actually have any sleep at all for 11 days and obviously 11 nights. I was completely awake during all of this time. I just spent my time listening to music because I did try and get to sleep, but I couldn't stop moving, basically. I was just always fidget fidgeting and restlessness was diabolical. It was absolutely atrocious. And I had to beg the doctor just to get a small dose of 10 milligram of diazepam back. But when, once I had taken this on the 12th day, I think it was, I managed to get about 12 hours of sleep and this helped me a lot and my brain started functioning a bit better after I had the sleep. But I honestly think that I've ha had damage done to my brain from being on benzos for such a long time in that my prefrontal cortex, which is a part of the brain responsible for decision making and planning ahead, I think that there is damage done to this part of my brain from benzo misuse and addiction. And also I used to buy a lot of benzos on the black market as it were, buying a thousand MSG blues at once and clorazepam and Xanax on top of those as well as sometimes buying Ativan aka Lorazepam on top of those benzos and I used to take them all at the same time pretty much like up to 12 milligrams of Xanax and up to 20 blues well a handful of blues I guess it was between 20 and 30 blues at, at the same time as well as 30 milligrams of diazepam and uh, between 60 and 160 milligrams of Oxycontin because I was getting prescribed six, uh, free 20 milligram Oxycontins a day the pink 20 OC 20s uh, and also I was buying a lot of the OC 80s the green dark green tablets online and remove them out of coating to break the time release and then use a spoon to wrap it with the shirt spoon to crush them up and then make them into, make it into lines when I crush it into a fine as I could powder and railed it using a five pound note or roll up bit of paper if I didn't have any money as in notes to roll up to use the, what I call a toot or a tutor something you put to your nostril and the other end of it to the start of the line and start sniffing like well basically that's what I want to make a video about because I don't know if all of my subscribers on YouTube know about what I've been through well in the psychiatric unit in Barnstable Hospital it was called Moreland View and the other one, the other ward was called Ocean of You. And I did have a good time in there, but I also had a very bad time in there at different times. But like half of the time was very good, but was like, and the other half of the time was excruciatingly bad due to what I call negligence from a doctor. 
a doctor being in quotation marks because I can't understand how that guy was actually a doctor and I believe that maybe he faked his uh, qualification certificates or whatever and I don't believe he had any kind of empathy for me or sympathy or anything at all he just looked at me as a down and out typical piece of crap junkie with no future no life and and well now i'm off opioids i've learned semi-synthetic methadone but i take 80 milli milliliters off each morning i don't buy any illegal opioids or opioids on the internet or in person anymore and i don't do uh, crack anymore either and i rarely smoke cannabis i mainly stick to cbd hemp bud hemp cbd weed and also i like cbd hash which is something i've bought uh the other day actually and it really helped me with my anxiety and it really taught me out it was some it was cbd solid cbd hash and the actual name of it was cbd solid from gradedgreen.com so I highly recommend this if you want to try it and see if it helps you with your anxiety then it's uh, £10 a gram on gradedgreen.com and on gradedgreen.com they have offers on at the moment a uh, special code you use to reduce the price the final price when you check out and I think they have free postage on all orders over £50 or £40. Pounds. Uh, UK, British pounds sterling, not the weight, of course, if you're in America. And don't, to be honest, I don't think they're really that really green ship over to the United States of America. I think they only ship to within the United Kingdom. But don't hold me to that. I might be completely wrong. I've had no reason to see if they ship internationally. But if you email them, they might well do if you're willing to pay a bit extra on the postage. But the best thing about it is that they have inexpensive CBD bud and uh, there's, there are a lot of different strains on there. The last one I had is called Shilato and it was, I can't remember the percentage, but it was fairly moderate percent CBD and it was only £5 a gram and I got a free uh, packet of CBD gummies which are 25 milligram each and they're not on me at the moment I left them somewhere and I haven't taken either one of them yet but 25 milligram each I'm not sure they'll do too much to me but I'll probably just take those to the next time I uh, um, where they are basically so yeah I'll end this video now so thank you all for watching and hope you all have a very nice day and don't forget please to subscribe if you can or you want of course and I'll be making a lot more content more regularly soon as well so yeah please comment below if you have any questions and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so yeah thanks thanks you all for watching and hope you all have a very nice relaxed day cheers for now bye